Um, we're talking about this Otaki New World where Philippa Landy was banished from and trespassed and forced out of a store for wearing a t-shirt. I'm just finding it really quite ridiculous and insane that we have these men in the store who parade around and dress up as women and that's okay but us who are not transvestite in any way are not allowed to wear a t-shirt of our choice affirming our beliefs. How does that make any sense at all and why are we lying down and letting this happen everywhere? This is happening in every sector of our society when we are supposed to address men as she and he or whatever they want to be called because they're sticking on a dress and a, maybe a wig and some makeup and maybe some false boobs and saying they're a woman. They'll never be a woman. Even if they have their genitals mutilated to try and make woman genitals, they will still not be a woman. This is all dress up and playing like children do when they're young and they dress up as mothers and fathers and firemen and policemen and shopkeepers as they do. Um, sorry, do you want to just move along? And um, yes, it's quite ridiculous that they're forcing this upon us. I mean, they're quite entitled to go off like this young lady who was just abusing me for I don't even know what. Um, they're quite entitled to go off and live their lives dressing up as another sex, which they're not, if they want. They're adults, they can do this. As long as they're not harming anyone else. And, you know, previously I've had no issue with this because it's brought no harm to me personally. But now they have invaded our schools, these activists, these cult-like people, and you've got to realise there's a difference. They're separate. They're separate from the gay community. These are <coughs> alphabet activists, and they're a cult who are trying to get membership through the schools and our children. They have all these rainbow groups. So pre this new government that came in, they had managed to get the RSE um, teaching in schools, that's relationship sexual, sexuality education, and where they were doing all this gender affirming stuff, where they're brainwashing children into thinking they were born in the wrong body. Primary school children, by the way, children who shouldn't even be worrying about whether they're boys or girls or what they're wearing. They're just there to learn and play and form relationships with their schoolmates. And they invaded it globally, all over the world. We also, they invaded our sports, they invaded our, our spaces. And now, that's harming me and everyone else. They've invaded my space. So yes, I will speak out against them because they have now invaded our spaces. Thanks, Karen.